Hello everyone, my name is Brian Syak. Uh, Syak is the correct pronunciation. Uh, I, I've gotten uh, everything from Cinch to Clark to Sinach, uh, pardon me, but Crotch, I've gotten that. Um, and my first name, Brain, if you can imagine. Um, yeah, bizarre. Um, I'm a composer, obviously, also a new music pianist. Uh, the piano is my soul. Um, I come from Philadelphia, and for the past four years I've been at uh, the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music, uh, studying for my doctorate. Uh, I completed that in May. Uh, in the meantime, in the interim, uh, I've been uh, working at a restaurant as a chef. Uh, while applying for uh, uh, academic positions as a theory teacher or com composition teacher. And uh, I, I love cooking, and it's, it's just a huge passion, and I think it's a great opportunity to in the meantime, explore another world, and uh, I've been getting signals from the kitchen. I think maybe I need, I need help. <laughs> you know, um, but uh, so my piece is called Collective Uncommon, and it is a piece inspired by a medical oddities museum in Philadelphia called the Mütter Museum. And uh, just to give you a little perspective on this place. Um, you walk in and you're confronted with a uh, nine foot, 30 inch colon. Uh, yeah, really. And, uh, uh, you walk around, there's a wall of skulls from Transylvania, Eastern Europe, all, all over Europe in, in a study, and uh, there are shrunken heads, and there are, there's a model of a woman from Paris in the 19th century that had a, a horn growing out of her head that was like seven inches, uh, made of the same material as fingernail. Uh, just bizarre things. Uh, uh, a woman that uh, turned to soap because of the, the, the conditions of the soil, called it's, it's something called adipocere, where body fat turns to soap. But uh, you, you'll hear all about it on Friday. <laughs> so I I, I, I I met with the directors of the museum because I, I thought it would be a fascinating piece for orchestra. Like, what kind of music uh, would would these uh, relics inspire? Um, and so I was, I was thinking it would be a great project for my dissertation. It is my dissertation. Um, and so I met with the directors and I said, uh, I was like pushing dark, macabre, dark, macabre. And they said, Brian, hold on a second. Uh, this museum, while there are dark and macabre things, it's, it's actually, an, it, it's based on an enlightened idea that uh, in the collection uh, it, it, that they, they hold, uh, it will inspire... Um, Cures for polio, uh, syphilis, all of these, all of these uh, cures for all these ailments that are exhibited in the museum. And I said, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and so I started thinking of it in a different light, uh, more humanitarian. And so uh, uh, the, the, the former director, Gretchen Warden, uh, has a quote, something like this. Uh, While these bodies may be ugly, uh, there is a uh, terrifying beauty in the spirits of those forced to endure these afflictions, right? So... Uh, I, I thought about that, and that was on the, in the back of my mind while I was writing the music. And uh, so, what you'll what you'll hear on Friday is a, is a actually a balanced uh, chiaroscuro effect of light and dark. So, the, while there's also the there's the macabre and the dark, but there's also the light, the inspired, the enlightened ideas. So, uh, I was thinking that when I, while writing the piece. Um, a very interesting thing that I explored with the music was, uh, of course, I wanted to. Uh, explicitly depict these strange relics, right? Uh, so in the first movement, uh, you'll hear food instruments. Um, this actually includes, yes, macaroni and cheese, uh, amplified by uh, three per one percussionist, uh, and it's, it's projected out in the house amplification system, uh, cabbages, uh, cabbages that are ripped open, and also a pile of it manipulated. Uh, I was after the, the sound world of these macabre uh, relics. Uh, and in the last movement, you'll hear um, amplified talking dolls to uh, mimic the sounds of shrunken heads. Uh, so I actually took uh, Tickle Me Elmo dolls, and, and in the abdomen of these dolls, they have this voice box that uh, laughs. And I thought it, it would be brilliant. It, like, whoa, uh, it would be insane to have, like, you know, a movement about shrunken heads, but this demonic laugh going on. <laughs> yeah. It really took me in new directions. <laughs> uh, 
and I'm, I apologize if I spoiled your appetite of it, but I know we're about to eat, but uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and, and it took me in new directions as a composer, uh, and I hope you like it, and I, I thank the orchestra, I thank all of the board members, and, and Osmo, and, and uh, Aaron, and, and everyone involved, it's, it's, it's just a great opportunity, and uh, uh, I look forward to Friday, and I, I hope that it might inspire you to come to Philadelphia someday, so thank you very much. <laughs>